In the Emmy race for Best Comedy Actor, Jeffrey Tambor for Transparent has won two years in a row. Is he going to do it again? I think these guys know. This is Paul Sheehan, our executive editor of Gold Derby. Our senior editors, Daniel Montgomery, Marcus Dixon. I'm Tom O'Neill. All right, who here has anybody except Jeffrey Tambor to win? I have Anthony Anderson. We both oh. do, yeah. Really? Okay, Marcus, you first. Go ahead. And, you, and you're both predicting it to Blackish right. to win I'm, comedy series. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of going all out for Blackish here, but, but it's a show on the rise. It got three nominations last year in these big three categories of actor and actress and show. This year it's probably going to get more. Um, so we always look for shows that get more nominations than last year. Transparent, we don't know. Maybe it's going to go down. Maybe it'll stay the same. But don't don't count out Anthony Anderson just because he's never won before. A lot of people win in their third, fourth, fifth seasons. And, and do you think that just, and, and the, the ground shifted so much in the last couple of years, and even Jeffrey Tambor has said that really now, just a few years in, a, should be a transgender performer in mm -hmm. that role. That in other words, like he's, in, he's sort of saying, I, I shouldn't be playing this part. So do you think mm -hmm. that is another reason that maybe Yeah, Anthony it Anderson could be, uh-huh. Although I think that, that certain level of humility um, uh, on Tambor's part uh, could even help him uh, win again. Although I think uh, one of the interesting things about uh, Best Comedy Actor is that you know, we look back at Emmy history and we've seen so many repeat winners uh, of, of Comedy Actor. Kelsey Grammer won four times. Jim Parsons won four times. Uh, uh, Tony Shalhoub won three. None of them won three in a row. Uh, yeah. they, they all had, uh, 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 Jim Parsons won four in five years. He missed one year right in the middle. Um, Jim. Hey, get with the program here. <laughs> Donald so, Glover yeah. is the big, uh, he's <laughs> leading all of these uh, predictions at Gold Derby. Why do one, none of us have him to win here for Atlanta? It's a new show. It's untested. It, it doesn't seem Jeffrey like Tamer it's the show. Jeffrey Tambor won for his first season. Yeah, but he was also... What kind of an argument been, is that? He's been kicking around for 50 years, yeah. Jeffrey Tambor. I mean, Donald Glover is the Donald new Donald Glover, his ball. show has been the darling of the guilds and mm -hmm. the Golden Globes and all this stuff. And now is a big uh, factor in this race and an unknown factor, but it's, it's got cachet, right? I could see him winning writing, maybe directing, um, just like Aziz Ansari did last year for Master of None. Uh, he's very young to an actor. They usually don't go quite that young. I mean, look at Jeffrey Tambor. And, uh, and there's also the issue of, you know, we've seen this uh, happen with you know, stand-up comedians who do TV shows. It's hard to win. A lot of times voters think you're you know, playing yourself to a certain degree. And we see that with a lot of these. these like Seinfeld never comedies. won. Ray yeah. Romano took a few, years, took a few years to win. And, yeah. um, and so Louis C.K. never won for Louis. Um, and Larry so David. they win for writing. Uh, Aziz Ansari wins for writing, but not for acting. Uh, and so I think that could hurt uh, Donald Glover a little bit because if you look at Jeffrey Tambor, not, not only is that, uh, you know, it was an unusual show at the time for Emmys to embrace, but it was an entirely transformative role uh, by an acting veteran who they really admired. But we admired. all agree that, that Glover could win. Oh, yeah. I have him right, second. Right, let, let's set that aside. Yeah. Aziz Ansari, I don't think, can win. I think that's the, the stand-up comedian problem that we're talking about. Right. You know, Seinfeld never winning, like Paul just said. Um, William H. Macy just pulled off a big surprise at mm. SAG. Uh, can he win? He had a really good season. Uh, yeah, but who, is anyone watching? It, SAG they, voters are watching, apparently. I'm not actually even sure that's the case. They, <laughs> they, I feel they like love people, and they keep voting. For, like, I, I don't think voters were watching Hot in Cleveland when they voted for Betty White, is but all let's I'm saying. point out something very important here, and that is the Emmys are a peer group award. Actors are voting on actors, so it's the same system as SAG. Actors voting on actors here. Of course, but he's yet to win. In, for shameless. I, oh, I, I think know, that's I my know, point. But I'm that's just saying point. that it, it, since it's a, I, don't know, I don't think he would win if the whole Academy was voting, but I think he, he has that snob appeal that is possible here, especially with this new voting system where you just need a majority of votes or a plurality of votes to win rather than the consensus ranked system in the past. Uh, other nominees here will be, and Thomas Middleditch was nominated last year. Uh, Marcus's good buddy, Will Forte, will be yeah. back, right? That's too many so. right there. And I Especially think, this is And right now there. Kevin Bacon for I Love Dick is a major contender. He's not done well at, at uh, showbiz awards in the past. He's not that kind of respected. Isn't that, yeah, he, he, isn't that funny? Yeah. I mean, the, the six, six degrees of Bacon. Yeah. And he can't, he's worked with everyone, and yet he can't get them to vote it, for yeah, him. Yeah, it's interesting. It's I remember when he was nominated for the TV movie Taking Chance, he ended up losing to, I believe that was your uh, Brandon Gleason one for playing uh, Winston Churchill uh, in, in a TV movie. 
And then, you know, Kevin Bacon ended up going on to win the Golden Globe and I think possibly even the SAG Awards. So it's like just the Emmys were, were kind mm -hmm. of down on Kevin Bacon. We've underestimated Hank Azaria in the past. Uh, he, oh, yeah, but this Brockmire is doing and marvelous. Brock, he's, he's in highest the race. Rated show. And here's my long shot to get in for nomination. I don't have him predicted, but I, some night I'm going to wake up at 3 a.m. and go to Gold Derby and put him in there because I just will him to be in there. He's somebody who won an Emmy because of Gold Derby. Neil Patrick Harris won his first Emmy for Gold Derby, and he thanked us from the podium uh, for you know a series of unfortunate events. Is a big showy role. I mean, he is, has the the heavy makeup, etc. It's creepy and kind of weird. Does, does, does any of you think he has a chance? It, it may be a little. Yes. It may be a little too weird. Well, <laughs> it, that's another case of a kind of. Potential fringe contender. They already like him. He's already on their radar. If they see him on a ballot, you know, there, there's going to be a segment of people who might just mark his name. It's like, oh, I bet he's good in that. It is transformative. It, it is not Neil Patrick Harris. It's transformative several Neil, times. He hope, he it's hope, like yeah. Louis Anderson in Baskets, who plays a completely different person, except, or Jeffrey yeah, Tambor. Except Neil Patrick Harris is doing it like four different times. He's playing sort of like four or five different That's personas true. over the course with the different hair and makeup look. It's, it's over the top. It's outlandish. It's... Uh, you know, he's the kind of person who, if he gets in, uh, then pay attention. Enough of what we have to say. It's time for you to speak up. Cite your nominees. Rank them at Gold Derby. Tell us who's going to win because it's very important that you do because they affect the racetrack odds that are used by everyone when they make their predictions. And they're the people you've got to win and beat in order to get into our top 24 and top our leaderboards. Go to it. <laughs>